What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO YouTube video. Today we have 16 of the LEGO Harry Potter Series 2 CMF bags to open up. This was originally released in 2020 and each individual bag retailed for about $5 each in the United States. And here is a closer look at the front of the bag. As you can see, there are 16 instead of 12 minifigures to collect. And this is of course in the bag. So you could feel through the bags and see which character you were getting. So. Let's go ahead and open up our first bag here. It's nice to like actually have this in a bag as this is pre-box era for the collectible minifigures. And it looks like our first minifigure we got is actually my favorite of the series, which is Moaning Myrtle. I think this is a very well done Harry Potter minifigure. The accessory is Tom Riddle's diary and it says, my name is Harry Potter in the book. And the actual minifigure has two face prints. I really like the crying face. And I think overall, this is a very well done minifigure. I also really like the back printing. And then here is a look at the checklist. As we can see, there are 16 minifigures to collect. And then the back of the checklist just shows some instructions on how to build some of the accessories. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and open up bag number two. Spoilers, I am getting a complete set as I did buy this off of Bricklink knowing I was getting a complete set, but our second minifigure is Ron Weasley, and I really like this minifigure. It's not one of my favorites, but it is still very well done. It has side leg printing and arm printing, and he does come with two face prints, and then the back also has some printing as well, and I think it's a very well done minifigure. It's just not that special to me, in my opinion, because there's already so many other Ron Weasleys, but Anyway, on to our third bag out of 16, and inside of this bag, it looks like we have, let's see who we've got here. It's always a struggle opening these up, but our third one is George Weasley, who is probably another one of my favorites out of the bunch. I really like that face print, the, the kind of like laughing face, and then he also does come with a printed 2 by 2 tile of the Marauders map from Prisoner of Azkaban, and he does have dual molded legs and back printing, and then here is his other face print. Not as cool as the laughing one, but it is still nice. And let's go ahead and get into our fourth bag out of the 16. I will say I much prefer the bags. I remember always buying these as a kid, so I've kind of learned how to open them without damaging them. As a kid, I liked to collect them for some reason, but here we have Grip Hook. He looks very similar to the one from Gringotts Bank, and he has a very well done minifigure. There's only one face print on him, unfortunately, and he does come with the sword of Godric Gryffindor as well as a key, and he does have our printing however no leg printing but he does have back printing which looks nice and it's a well done minifigure just not one of my favorites out of the series especially since you can get a very similar one in the Gringotts Bank so he's not really that exclusive and then onto our fifth bag we have Professor Sprout who is one of my favorites in the series she has two face prints and what I really like about this minifigure is she has great back printing but also, the mandrake that is included looks really nice. It is a printed piece. Here's a look at her other face expression here. And then here's a closer look at the mandrake, which I think looks really nice. I love that piece. And now let's go ahead and get into our sixth bag of the set. Let's see who is inside of this one. I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of opening these again. It's been so long since I've actually opened up uh, CMF bags. Um, it's been forever since the first Marvel CMF, but inside of this one we have Fred Weasley, who looks almost identical to George, but there are a few subtle differences. I also really like the face print, but you can see Fred has a closed jacket and George has the open one, and they do have different face prints. And then we have this nice accessory from Goblet of Fire. And then you can also see he does have dual molded legs and back printing as well. And then here is a look at his other face print. So very well done minifigure, though I think I like George a little bit more. And then onto the seventh of the series. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see who is inside inside of this bag it looks like we have another one of my favorites Bellatri Bellatrix Lestrange and she is in her Azkaban jumpsuit I think this is a very unique minifigure it looks really nice it reminds me of the serious black one from Prisoner of Azkaban and she does come with a printed Azkaban tile as well as back printing and arm printing and then here is a look at her second face print so a very well done minifigure I love the Azkaban jumpsuit and now on to the eighth bag that we are going to be opening today so after opening this we will have half of the series and inside of here is Luna Lovegood which I like this minifigure a lot but it is definitely not my favorite Luna Lovegood minifigure that they have it does look really cool with the Gryffindor headpiece though she does have dual molded legs and back printing and then she also comes with her hairpiece and here is her other facial print so 
very nice minifigure, though I feel like they've released better ones. I especially like the one in the Ravenclaw house banner with the goggles on, but this one's still pretty nice. And onto the ninth bag, it looks like inside of this one, we have what looks to be uh, Lily Potter, which is a very nice addition to the series. I think it's a very well done minifigure. I really like the baby Harry uh, figure that you get inside of this, probably the highlight of this figure. And then she does have side leg printing, no dual molded legs, unfortunately, but she does have back printing. And then here is a look at her second face print, which looks really nice. And then on to now the 10th bag of the series. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see who is inside. Very excited to see what is inside of this bag. And it looks like we have James Potter. So very fitting that we ended up opening him after Lily. And he is really good, but I think I like Lily a bit more. He does have this printed two by three tile with him and Lily that we see in the movies. And then I really like the face print where he's like very excited. And then he does have back printing and he does have dual molded legs on like uh, Lily Potter and here is his other face print and then all right and now on to the 11th bag of the opening and inside of this one let's go ahead and see who is inside of this bag it looks like it is hermione granger so very well done minifigure however just like ron weasley i feel like this one shouldn't have been included it's great and it's a very detailed appearance but it is based off of the half-blood prince movie and she does have dual molded legs and back printing and then here is a look at her other face ex facial expression however i feel like there's already so many other hermione minifigures that this one kind of just blends in but anyway on to the 12th minifigure bag inside of this one we probably have one of my least favorites of the series it is Ginny Weasley, nothing against the minifigure. It does look great. She does have um, really detailed printing and she does have dual molded legs and back printing. And then here is a look at her other facial print. I'm just not the biggest fan of Ginny in the Harry Potter universe. That's why I don't really like this minifigure as much as the others, but it is still a very detailed minifigure nonetheless. And here is bag number 13. And inside of this one, we have Albus Dumbledore. And this is, of course, based off of his appearance from the first two movies before they replaced the actor after he passed. And he does have back printing, and it's a very well done minifigure. I really like this one a lot. It's probably one of my favorite Dumbledores that they have released. And he does come with Fox the Phoenix, who also looks really detailed. And I think he's in a few other sets too. But Anyway, on to what is now the 13th. I miscounted earlier, but this is bag number 13. And inside of here, it looks like we have Neville Longbottom, who's actually one of my favorite uh, characters in the entire Harry Potter universe. And this minifigure is fantastic. You get the Book of Monsters from Prisoner of Azkaban. All of these are printed pieces and it just looks really nice. I'm a big fan of this minifigure. I love the face print. It just like perfectly captures Neville's character. And then he does have back printing and another face print, though I think the kind of shocked look is way better and now on to the 15th bag so we only have one more left after this so far we've gotten no repeats which is good because otherwise we'd be very mad but anyway inside of this bag it looks like we have our main character here which is of course harry potter it'd be funny if we opened him up last but here is harry potter this is probably one of my least favorites out of the series it looks good but just like I said with Ron and Hermione, there's so many other ones. And the accessory is the Half-Blood Prince's journal slash potion book, which looks really nice. And the minifigure looks really great. It's probably one of the more detailed Harrys that we have gotten, but I feel like it doesn't really have anything special in my opinion. He does have two face prints and I do like the face prints that they have, but it just doesn't really stand out to me amongst the other ones. But this is our last bag. The only minifigure we haven't gotten is Kingsley Shacklebolt. And so, Obviously, I feel like this is going to be Kingsley. Let's just make sure. And thankfully it is. So we did get an entire set, which is great because it would be annoying to have to buy the one minifigure I didn't get. But here is Kingsley. I think he looks really nice. What I especially like is the cape piece, which is exclusive. And he does have good... Uh, printing on the front of the torso and back, and he does come with arm printing as well. And I think this is a very well done minifigure. There is only one face, unfortunately, but he's um, like, there's no like, I feel like if they did two faces, it would look weird because there's nothing like covering up the second face. But here's a look at the entire series. I really like this one. I think I prefer this over series one. 
just because series one also included the Fantastic Beasts and where to find the minifigures, and I haven't seen those movies. I don't really care about those uh, movies as much as I do the Harry Potter books and movies, so I much prefer this one, and this one is actually a lot cheaper than series one. I was going to buy all of series one, but that was way too expensive, around like $150 in the US, so I'm very happy with this one, and I think it is a very solid minifigure series. I love all of the details that every minifigure has. Most of them have dual molded legs, which is great, and a lot of them have arm printing, and most of the characters included are very unique. However, there are, few, are, are, are a few exceptions. Anyway, though, here are my top five in order. One is Moaning Myrtle, then Neville, uh, then Bellatrix, George, and Dumbledore. I think all of these minifigures are fantastic. I especially love the Moaning Myrtle and Neville ones, though, and I think all of the minifigures inside of the CMF are great, but those are just my top five. And then at the number six spot, we have Professor Sproul, and then we've got Kingsley, James, uh, Lily. Harry is great, and then I also like Fred, Luna, Hermione, Ron, Ginny, and my least favorite is Grip Hook. But here they are again, showcased from my favorites to least favorites. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite CMF series that I do have in my LEGO collection, and definitely drop a comment down below letting me know which is your favorite. But that is all for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Bye.